Apple has finally announced their latest, the greatest MacBook Pro series with M4 series of chip. But not only that, there are some other announcements as well, which are just mind boggling. So without wasting any time, let's dive deep into it. So before talking about the latest MacBook Pro series, Apple has a good news for all those people planning to buy a MacBook Air because now the standard version of MacBook Air comes with 16 GB of RAM and that too at the same price and that is $999. Well that out of our way, now let's talk about Apple's newest MacBook Pro series. Now the MacBook Pro lineup is powered by M4 chip that has 10 core CPU in which you get 4 performance cores and 6 efficiency cores and also you get 10 core GPU as well and that is capable of doing hardware accelerated ray tracing in games. The MacBook Pro is 1.8 times and 1.3 times faster than the M1 and M3 models when you compare them in photo editing task. Now the M4 gives you the ability to use two external displays as well as with the display of MacBook itself. And not only this, now you get 3 Thunderbolt ports which is one more compared to the last iteration of MacBook Pro. Well, that was all about MacBook Pro 14 inches, but wait, there is more. The 16 inch MacBook Pro now has M4 Pro chip. The M4 Pro chip houses 14 core CPU in which you get 10 performance core and 4 efficiency cores. And also it gets 20 core GPU which is twice as powerful as M4. The M4 Pro has 75 times more bandwidth compared to M3 Pro. Also, the MacBook Pro variant coming with M4 Pro is 3 times faster than the M1 Pro MacBook Pro. So it is needless to say that with such enormous power, it can run Apple intelligence features and that too flawlessly. So you can transcribe the notes, writing tools can be used to rewrite, summarize and proofread text. Also you get a better Siri experience and all thanks to Apple intelligence. And not only this, now the Siri gets the integration of chat GPT as well. So I think it is much more smarter than before. But what if you want more power in your MacBook Pro? Then what? Well guys, Apple got you covered because they have introduced their latest, the greatest, the most powerful chipset ever and that is M4 Max. It has 16 core CPU which has 12 performance core and 4 efficiency core. It also houses 40 core GPU which is capable of doing hardware accelerated ray tracing in games and not only this, these 40 cores makes it twice as powerful as M4 Pro. And when you compare it to the older iteration of M series of Max chip, it is 2.2 times and 1.2 times faster than M1 Max and M3 Max respectively. And if you take the competition in account, it is 2.5 times faster than the Intel Core 7 Ultra Series 2. And talking about GPU, it is 1.9 times and 1.2 times faster than the M1 Max and M3 Max respectively. And it is 4 times faster than the Intel Core Ultra 7 Series 2 chip. And the neural engine itself is 3 times faster when you compare it with M1 Max. So if you're choosing MacBook Pro with M4 Pro and M4 Max, then my friend, you'll be getting Thunderbolt 5 instead of Thunderbolt 4 which more than doubles the transfer speed up to 120 gigabits per second. And talking about battery life, well, now you get 24 hours of backup on a single charge. The XDR display brightness also got bumped up to 1000 nits for SDR content and HDR content is at 1600 nits. Well, not only this, if you like matte screen on your MacBooks, well, Apple got you covered because now you get the option of nano texture coating with your MacBook Pros. Well, the list doesn't end here because now you get 12 megapixel camera which has center stage capability also can do desk view. And talking about pricing and availability, well, the 14 inches MacBook Pro now comes with 16 GB of RAM and that too in the base variant and it still starts at 1599 USDs. And talking about MacBook Pro 16 inches, now it gets 24 GB of RAM and that too again in standard variant, no need to upgrade and it starts at 2499 USDs. You can pre-order them now and the shipping will start from 8th of November. What are your thoughts on it? Are you going to pre-order or not? Do let me know in the comment section and uh, you know what? It's a uh, festive time so I think you need to subscribe to iGeeks blog and press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every Apple product getting launched this year and next year as well. And on this note, this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one. Till then, tada, see ya, bye bye and you know what? Stay connected.